NTV. Indeed, morning at NTV. We are live from Kampala Serena Conference Center. I'm Andrew Chama Geromun to our So now, yesterday, MTN launched its initial public offering at 200 shillings a share. And to speak to us, we have a Mr. Wim Van. I would prefer to stop at Van, the CEO of MTN Uganda. Good morning, Van. Good morning. Happy New Year's. <laughs> Thank <laughs> See, you. 2020. <laughs> since the last time we had this conversation about MTN, now you're back with something very unique. Mm -hmm. um, I want to first start off with something very simple. How would you describe MTN Uganda as a company today to allay, allay Ugandan? Okay, so th thank, thank you for that and good morning everybody. Mm. Uh, of course, MTN Uganda doesn't need to be introduced as if we don't know. Yes. We're here <laughs> in Uganda, we have been here for 23 years, yeah. so I can skip the, the basics. But yes. of course, you know, we are, we are a telecom company. Yes. Okay? We've been around since mm. 1998. Mm. Uh, and our main activity, of course, is voice calling. That's how we started. Data. And still going on people mm. still make millions of phone calls every day mm. uh, then secondly we also growing quite big now in, in mobile data yeah. uh, people having a smartphone yeah. having access to the internet using mm. their phone so that's you know the second main activity and yeah. then the third one uh, mobile money and uh, mobile money is uh, is also very big for us Th that uh, is the biggest thing calling internet mm. mobile money those Mo are our three main activities mm. uh, and that's why you know I think MTN Uganda really is uh, is an exciting company. We have 15 million customers now that mm. make phone calls. Yes. Uh, of those, about one third, about four, four five million mm. are actually on the internet, mm. and then about nine million out of those 15 are doing uh, mobile money on uh, on a regular basis. So now it's a good blend. W w <coughs> when you say that, uh, I love mobile money because it's inclusion when mm. it gets to the uh, the pyramids and especially the people at the bottom of the pyramid. Sure. Yesterday, um, we saw MTN launching the IPO. I want to understand, can you help us understand the details of this share? What is the driving factor behind the IPO? Uh, because the company expectations on the listing could be different. But we need to know, what, what are the driving factors to this? Mm -hmm. So, first and foremost, it is an obligation. Mm -hmm. okay? We renewed our, our license uh, in June last year. Uh, and one of the license obligations, <coughs> amongst mm. others, there are other obligations, we'll come back to that later, uh, is to list the company on the stock exchange. Mm. Now, confronted with an obligation, you look at it and say, mm, maybe I can turn this obligation into an opportunity. For, and the that for us, for mm. all of us. Mm. And that's really what we have tried to achieve with this, uh, with this IPO, is to turn it into a real opportunity, and mm. an opportunity to create what we call shared value. Mm -hmm. You have... 50 million customers, mm. okay? Now, how can you turn some of these customers into shareholders? Oh yeah. So that you share the value, you share the story, mm. the growth, the profit, you know? Not with just a few big, big, big shareholders, but why not with thousands of, of shareholders, shareholders yes. that can get access? And that's why we developed that uh, MIPO, mm. uh, we call it MIPO platform, mm. in conjunction with, uh, with the USE, where you're just using your phone, mm. okay? You open an account, mm -hmm. just star 165, hash 65, you mm. open your, na you enter your national ID, and you, you can open your, your virtual account <coughs> on the mm. stock exchange. Using your phone, yep. the same phone, you can the same monitor. menu, mm. you can now apply to buy shares, mm -hmm. use your mobile money account to pay for them, mm -hmm. you wait a few weeks until the period closes, end of November, mm -hmm. you'll get a notification, these are the shares that have been allocated to you. Wow. So we have reduced massively the, the, the barrier for oh yeah. people to have access to the stock market. Now you know, in, in, in 1998, when we uh, came in, mm. okay, the telephone, the mobile telephone, <laughs> was for the happy few, the yes, rich. Yes, the rich. Okay. That's the right MTN word. MTNK, we democratized access to mobile telephones. Yes. We started charging in Uganda shilling, mm. no longer in dollars. Oh, yes. Now I'm talking to the old people. Oh, yes. The ones who remember <laughs> in 1998. Okay. Well, we used to buy when service the, When the telephone was this big. Oh, okay. <laughs> now in 2021, 23 yeah. years later, our real ambition <coughs> Mm. is once again to democratize, democratize access to the capital markets. Okay. Today, capital markets is for, for a few, mm. okay? 
If you use your phone now, capital market access will be full. You can have it everywhere. Uh, earlier on, you alluded that mobile money is one of your biggest um, frontiers as a telecom company. Is it part of the basket in the IPO? Absolutely. It mm -hmm. is. 100% part of the listed company. Mm. I saw some comments uh, last night <laughs> on, uh, on online. social media, yes. online, <laughs> WhatsApp. So, yeah, let, let me really clarify that for everybody, okay? There should be no confusion about yes. the mobile money activity, the mobile yeah. money business is 100% part of the listed company. Oh, yes. Let there be no confusion. It, it's part of the exciting story. MTN Uganda without mobile money <coughs> wouldn't be half as exciting oh, yes. as mobile money included. So mobile money is 100% part of the listed company. Okay. Well, we're joined by Anju Ko from Sun Big Bank. Well, the conversation just can't get much more better than this. When you have people who understand the money and the financials and MTN opening up for us to get into uh, their shares and we become the boss to Van and the others. Good morning, Anne. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you. Too. This is exciting. As someone in the financial sector, yesterday I, I, I picked a little bit of your speech yesterday and the deliberations, but for you as a service provider, especially in the finance industry, what does this mean to you? So we have said many times that uh, this IPO is historic in nature yeah. and historic for so many reasons. The first of which is that it's Ugandan, mm -hmm. at the core of it is a need for Ugandan. Mm. And I'll pick up from where Wim left mm. off, that we are saying democratize the stock market, mm -hmm. remove the barriers mm -hmm. and make it as as accessible to every single Ugandan. Mm. And that policy is coming through, even the allocation policy. Mm -hmm. And when everybody has subscribed, mm. the first person to whom shares will be given mm. is a Ugandan individual. Now, yes. uh, earlier on, we had issues with brokers, and we feared to even participate with the brokers. Now, you, you come in with that kind of um, experience, skill set, and all that. How safe are we to run with you? I'll, I'll clarify that mm. uh, we are not the only brokers. We are the leading yes. brokers. SBG yes. Securities is the leading brokers. Yes. But we <coughs> are being uh, assisted and we're working with Diane Blair yeah. and Crested Stocks. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason why this is a different IPO, it's a green IPO, because mm. you now can read the prospectus. It's on the MTN website. True. It's on the Stanbic website. So the mm. power is in your hands as a consumer. Mm. You can read the, web the, the prospectus. You can go to your phone, star 165, star 65 hash. Mm open your own SCD account and select the broker that you want because you need a broker ongoing mm -hmm. and then buy your own shares using your Momo pay. Mm. So, so you see that a lot of power has, has come back to, to the to consumer. Me, yeah, mm. to the consumer. And every time <coughs> someone asks me about this, I'm very clear to say, read the prospectus mm. yourself, mm. ask insightful questions mm -hmm. so that you can make a, 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 a sound decision. And now, a decision best out of now, knowledge. Th th that is my biggest um, conversation. I, um, I, want, I, I still want to hang with you, Anne, just a bit, Van. When it gets to information dissemination among the population, I'm thinking of a Ugandan who is deep in um, a bean district, and he has been with MTN from 1998. And um, some of his family members, because of the connectivity, they're all with MTN. How are we reaching them that they would ask critical questions about the brokerage? How do they understand that this is the best broker to deal with? And um, how do they qualify them? So this is the <coughs> thing about, about again, about what is special about this IPO mm. and where we've taken a lot of time to plan it in that way, mm. that f between today mm. and the 22nd of November, mm. which is when the IPO closes, yes. we will traverse the whole country. Mm -hmm. We will go to over 200 towns, cities, in every single location of this country nice. we will go mm. and while there we will educate the masses on the stock market mm -hmm. but also on MTN and why it's important mm. uh, and a viable investment opportunity mm. so even after we are done with this IPO mm. the capital markets in Uganda will never be the same wow. because we are making it a point to say that Ugandans they are different saving avenues mm. when everybody has a little money they think about a plot of land and whatever now oh we've yeah. seen what real estate has happened oh yeah, 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 so yeah. we're saying open the markets there are other investment options which are just as viable and you can just tap into it and you can uh, you can uh, d diversify mm. your own investment portfolio. But I want to come back to your earlier question on why this IPO is important yes. for, the sec for the capital markets. There are several reasons, uh, the first of which is the size. Mm. 
Uh, we are the market capitalization currently at the Uganda Securities Exchange okay. is 3.9 trillion. Yeah, mm -hmm. MTN is going to double that. Wow. Yeah. So so that's the first part. The MTN is going to double mm. the the rate, the capital, the, the the size of the of the Uganda Securities Exchange. Mm. That's number one. Number two is right now we have 35. Thousand active people, Ugandans, mm. on the stock exchange. That's good. We have a target to more than <laughs> double, double to, the to more than, in fact, more than <laughs> multiply it by <laughs> the multiplier. Let's see. Let's see. We are I, I love the figures here. Yeah. Yes, but mm. the numbers are big because yeah. here's the thing: <coughs> if you think about when we listed back in 20, 2007 mm. as Stanbeck. Uh, we had to fill a paper form. We had to find you had to find us. Oh yes. We really killed many trees in that space. The key word mm. I had to find you. You had to find the broker. Whoa. You had to look <laughs> for the broker. You had to now line we are up. finding you. N no, no, you're in your comfort zone. I'm of on your my home. phone. Yes. Convenience. You're in the yes. comfort in my of location, your home. Yes. You're anywhere you mm. want to be, mm. and you are able to participate. Yes. That's a really, really big part wow. of what we're doing. We are also <coughs> removing the information barriers mm -hmm. to say that read the prospect. Understand, them understand and the com is it a compelling story for you yes. to make the investment decisions? Mm. I mean, these are your savings. This is your money. You have to take you. I mean, everybody takes their money very seriously. Of <laughs> so take the time, <laughs> read the prospectus, and make the decision to invest. If I may add something, uh, yes, you please. were giving the example of Abim. Mm. We have a service center mm. in Abim. In Abim, yes. Okay. All our 190 service centers, together with your 60. Stand big bank branches mm. are also available yeah. from yesterday all the way until 22nd of mm. November for people who want assistance. Yeah. Yes, you can do it with your phone from your bedroom, wherever yeah. you are, you can do it yourself. Mm -hmm. But if you don't feel that comfortable and you want to have a bit more a conversation, you can, through, yes. you can also come. So the person you're referring to, mm. in Abim, they can come to our service center. Okay. There will be a broker. Yes. There, to make present. That to meet the person, uh -huh. to take him or her through, use the phone, assist, give some advice, give mm. some, you know, some insights. That makes that will also help, you know, to really educate and, and, and drive financial inclusion. That makes a lot of sense. Now, Van, what is your broadest strategy as a company, MTN, and um, how will it deliver the growth of the company, to be exact, and the value for the anticipated shareholders mid-term and short-term? The one word that is really important is growth. Okay. Yeah. When you buy a, a share, a stock today, mm. it's because you believe that in three, five, ten years from now, yeah. there's going to be growth. Mm -hmm. okay. You don't buy just what is today. Yeah. You buy into prospects. the prospects, yes. the future, mm. the growth that mm. is ahead of you. Okay. Mm. So where is the growth from MT and Uganda going to come from? There is definitely going to be growth. Yeah. As I said before, we're doing voice. Okay, voice is getting you know a little bit saturated. Mm. More and more people are shifting to mobile data. Yeah, a lot of growth. We only have one out of three of our customers mm. who today use the internet okay, yeah. via their phone. Mm. Smartphone. Not everybody has a smartphone, so. The smartphone penetration, the mobile internet consumption yeah. is going to grow massively over the next few years. Yeah. Okay. Mobile money spoken about. We're just Stable. doing the basics. Mm. Transferring money, you know, to your mother in the village or this, that. Those are basic mobile money transactions. Yeah. The growth is going to come from Momo Pay, it's going to come from lending, uh, saving products, all kind of other mobile money products. Yeah. That we just we just started with it. Mm. Okay. So the growth for the company is mobile data and mobile money. And now look in what country, amazing country we are operating in. Yeah. Sometimes when you, we all here in Uganda, we don't realize <laughs> <laughs> the opportunity. The opportunity yes. that is here with us. You don't yes. have to travel far. Mm. Yes. There is an amazing opportunity. Yeah, I understand. Today, in 2021, mm. there are about 20 million adult Ugandans. Okay, mm. 43 million total mm. population. Mm. A little bit, you know, less than half is about above 80. Yeah. So let's say 20 million mm -hmm. adult population. Mm -hmm. Those that adult population is our main. Driver of growth. Yes. Those are yeah, our customers. The economy, yes. mm. Okay. Now, in <coughs> ten years from now, they're it going to double. be. All the scientists are pretty much aligned <laughs> with that <laughs> <laughs> because they know. Okay. In ten years from now, we estimate there's going to be at least 35 million wow. adult Ugandans. Mm. 20 to 35. That On top sense. of that, we're mm. in a country where the economy mm. is growing. 
It is. Growing massively. Mm -hmm. He's the expert. She can tell you <laughs> the <laughs> percentages. I wouldn't the use the word Uganda massive. Is growing. Yes. But it is so growing. you're in the right place, Uganda. And you're investing you're in the, the right, right time. industry. Um, that's the growth. And I'm looking at this from the perspective of financial inclusion, especially for the women. I'll, I'll, I'll drop this to you because yesterday was the International Girl Child. And um, this, when you look at it with the direction of engaging women, women are the best servers of this country, to be exact. Um, when this comes at this time, with that conversation already on the ground, you as a lady in the leadership spectrum, what does it mean? Oh, it's uh, absolutely fundamental. Mm -hmm. Fundamental. And if you listen to the talks yesterday on the girl international the, the international day of a girl child, yes. we were talking about digitization and the the, the spa creating space for the girl child mm. in the digital age. And this is one other way to do that. And 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 you can only do that when you give them economic freedom and allow them a chance to participate, which is fair. Yeah. So, so, so for me, this IPO could not have come at a better time than now. Than now, mm. especially because we're in a country that the regulators and the policymakers recognize the need for it, mm. and they recognize that this is what we need to be doing. Uh, you rightly said, and and if you there's an Economist article that came out in September mm. that talked about the fact that countries that fail women ultimately fail. Are true. Ultimately fail. Mm. So as a, as a Ugandan, uh, the former policy making side, we have already been clear on that. Mm -hmm. The policies are clear. They're pro women. We just have to do the execution part. And each one of us has a role to play. Okay. So uh, are we going to have special allocation for women? No. No. But they get equal. equal as, as so if you and I apply, mm. we are all equal as same. Ugandan individuals. Stephen Kato on Twitter here says, that "Thank you so much for this conversation. I want to thank MTN for coming." Uh, but I need to know, how do I get to know that they are, they are frauds, and I say within my, within my lane of doing this, what are the safety nets for me to be sure that I'm actually working with MTN? Are you sending us agents on ground? Because that could be another gap of no. fraud. Okay, right. so the whole MIPO mm. platform enables you to apply directly Mm -hmm. With any middleman in between. Okay. You take your phone, you're going to deal directly mm. with the USE. Oh, yeah. Okay. You need to select your broker, mm. yes, and then select number of shares you want to apply for. You do the payment. Yeah. There's nobody in between you. Mm -hmm. When you use the platform, you deal directly with the USE, Uganda Securities Exchange. Perfect. Now, when you go to an authorized service center, there are 190 MTN service centers, they are well known. There are 60 standing bank branches. They are well known. 65. You go 65. You go to any of those 255 mm. outlets. You will be served, assisted by a genuine licensed broker mm -hmm. who is present in those outlets. Okay. Anybody who meets you in the street and say, I'm a broker, I'm going to organize shares MTN for Open you. Open your eyes. No, no, don't, 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 don't <laughs> just say, okay, thank you very much. I have my phone, I can do it myself. Well, well there you go. Don't, don't get trapped by this guy. Stephen Kato, I think they have answered you. Want to compliment I want that? to add that hmm. uh, this is not a space where you pay cash. Yes. Yeah. Either you take the money to the bank, put in the bank account, mm. or, or mobile preferably, mobile. preferably mobile, mobile money. money. Exactly. If you use mobile pay, you get a bonus share. Mm. Uh -huh. You get bonuses. So, so there is more, there is more incentive for you to use your phone than and for giving you another person. Yes. Uh, so we've really don't give any the other process. person. Don't give any Do other person. It's the Do bank it yourself, yeah. or it's via your phone. And as I yes. said, mm. for every hundred shares mm. that you apply for using your phone, mm. you get ten bonus shares. Wow. <laughs> so Folks, this that is gives the enough to incentive to, to, to use your phone. To make sure that we come. How many shares do we have for, 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 uh, for buy? Okay. Uh, uh, I, I need to hear the figures. <laughs> so I'll tell you this. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, so they are 4,447,808,000 4 oh. shares oh uh, with a par value of one shilling. And I'll add that mm. we are selling each share at 200 Uganda shillings. Mm -hmm. 200 Uganda shillings. The minimum lot you can buy is 500 shares. Wow. Meaning that anybody with 100,000 Uganda shillings can in their buy pocket the shares. Mm. can participate in this IP. Wow.
Wow, that and you get sense. and mm -hmm. you ten. get ten extra shares for every for every one hundred that 100 you buy shares you using buy. star one six five. So that means if I buy five hundred shares, I'm in position. That you I get fifty extra. I, I have fifty extra. Yes. So you pay for five hundred. You will you get be allocated five fifty. Five hundred. So wow. the minimum allocation is actually five hundred fifty shares. Yeah. For the price of 100,000. Fellow Ugandans, this is the time to actually go through. Um, now, the regulatory authority has evolved over time. Occasionally, new uh, policies are implemented to affect business operations. Van, what mechanics do you have in place to ensure that the, co the full compliance uh, comes through towards the business sustainability? See, regulation is very important in our industry. Mm. We have a telecom regulator, the UCC. We have also uh, Bank of Uganda, FIA, you know, regulate the mobile money activity. Mm. Uh, now we have the CMA, Capital mm -hmm. Markets. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of regulators now, mm. okay? Which is good. Mm. You know, being regulated should create trust and confidence oh, yes. in our share for our shareholders, yes. our investors. Mm. Because we cannot just sit my office and do all kind of things <laughs> without regulation. Without, we are bound by s very clear, mm. transparent, straightforward regulation. I agree. You know, that, that give a clear mm. part mm. on how we have to do certain things, like the corporate governance, mm. the board, who's going to be on the board, how yeah. is it structured, mm. like mobile money, what are the limits, uh, what are the transactions that mm. are allowed or not allowed. It's a very regulated environment, yeah. which is good for investors Indeed. because it creates transparency and visibility. And that's what investors want. Mm. They want to know, you know, how secure the future is going to look like. Mm. We, we are not fortune tellers. We <laughs> tell you here how the future is going to look but like. But you give us the numbers but in the next 10 years. Strong regulation mm. should protect investors mm. because we are bound to run our business in mm. a certain way that protects their interests. Absolutely. Without sitting in the boardroom, without sitting next to me in my office to see what I'm doing. But when the can power I just is with add, yes. Can I just add that af so the process between when we started and listing yes. is very, very rigorous. Uh -huh. yeah, but there is continuing listing obligations after oh they are listed, yeah. the mm. Uganda Securities Exchange has a duty mm. to protect your interest as a shareholder. Yes. So they will be there mm. in MTN's boardroom, mm -hmm. checking his policies, making sure he discloses. On your behalf. behalf. On your behalf. Yes. Making sure he, uh, he discloses mm. the challenges in the businesses, the risks. Mm. Every year, at half year, mm -hmm. Wim will be here talking about how MTN has performed the first six months yep. and then after that at the end of the year the full year performance. Mm. So the continuing listing obligations that are incumbent on any uh, entity that is listed they continue wow. to protect the interests of mm. the investor. Well the conversation is going on. I cannot have a lot of time to actually have this conversation. There are many questions many of you are asking but just to apply for the MTN shares just to be straight as low as 100,000 you get a shilling. All you need is your MTN mobile money and then you can apply you get 10 free shares whenever you get 100 100 shares now to apply it's quite simple you'll dial a star 165 star 65 hash star 165 star 65 hash and then use my MTN app or you can use my MTN app to apply and then you'll follow the prompts and you'll be a part of this this is a revolution you need to be a part of Stanbic is here to make sure that well they're the leading brokers in this and MTN is saying now we can own it and we can see ourselves grow let's get off the traditional ways of investment in real estate and all that yes they are good but the dynamics are changing my fellow countrymen let's tap into this and we get to see how the figures you know make sense at the end of the day juko what what could be your last words to ugandans watching this now because this is a divine defining moment in the next generation and, and to answer that and next generation, I'll start from history. Yeah. You think about from 1998. Mm. Every single one of us, the story between then and now, is yeah. woven with MTN. Yeah. Your wedding, your graduation, the first time you had a phone, yeah. an MTN phone. So this is a historic thing. Yes. Uh, not, not just for what it does to our capital markets, yeah. but what it's doing for us as a country. Nice. Yeah, that l being able to share value. When value is created in Uganda, uh -huh. Ugandans ought to be able to share in that value. With the others, so yes. So that, that, is th that, that is the single biggest part about this. Yeah. But to the viewers out there, I want to say invest, but first make an informed decision. Mm -hmm. Read the prospectus, consult widely, 
and make an informed decision. And while there is no first come, first serve, mm -hmm. every one of us from the person who applied at 10 o'clock yesterday when we opened, mm -hmm. the one who comes at 3.59 on the 22nd of uh, November, of November when we yes. close, you will all get equal uh, treatment. Nice. However, I want to urge you, start early. That's the thing. Start <laughs> early. I mean, Ugandans, <laughs> we like this last minute thing. Last minute. At the concert, you're at the gate <laughs> as the musician gets on the stage. Don't do that. Come early, yeah. invest, and, and do it, you know, do the research and yeah. do your investments well in time. Mm. And should you have, m if you have money today and you get more money in between, yeah. you can buy as many times as, as you, you wish. Can. Yeah, I just want to make sh uh, a, a point there that yeah. there is a limit on Momo pay of 5 million shillings per okay. day. Okay. So that is the limit as an individual mm. shareholder, as a mm. prospective shareholder. You're Can limited to five million per day. Yeah. However, nothing stops you from doing it every day, every day. Or if you have a slightly larger amount, mm. walk into the bank, uh -huh. any one of the Stanbic branches, mm. and deposit the money onto the IPO account, mm. and walk out with your confirmation as having done that. And as I close, I also want to say about the allocation policy. Mm. This is a Uganda first IPO. Mm. Ugandans will be taken care of first mm -hmm. as Ugandan individuals, yeah. mm. and then we'll go to Ugandan companies, mm -hmm. and after that we open it to our brothers in East Africa, the brothers region. and sisters, mm. the regional aspect mm. of the East African community, mm. as individuals first, yeah. and then we come to East African uh, investors or mm. East African professional investors or companies yeah. mm. before we open to the rest of the world. Okay. So it's very important to, s to know that when MTN says Uganda is home, Mm. They really do. Mean they it. really mean it. Van, what are your parting shots as we're having this conversation? I'm very excited. I'm going to travel with you around this country yeah, because yeah. we need to take this conversation more down. But for someone watching you today. Well, Van has said so much. He's taken all my lines <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, ju let's, ju let, let's just go back, as you say, 23 years in history. Uh, yes. okay. We democratized mobile telephony. Mm. Okay. This is a unique opportunity, and mm. we are very passionate about it to democratize access to the stock market. Yeah. Okay. So we're so happy, we're proud yeah. to be part of this company. Mm -hmm. 23 years, an amazing growth story behind mm. us. But the growth story ahead of us is as exciting as what as we have done wow. over the last 22 mm. years. So I'm really looking forward mm. to have thousands and thousands of my customers uh -huh becoming my shareholders yes. and they will become my boss. <laughs> because when you're a shareholder, you have yeah. a vote. Oh yes. All the shareholders mm. have an equal vote. Yes. Yes. They can come to the AGM, the mm. annual general meeting. They That's can stand up, mm. take the mic, mm. and ask questions. And I will have to answer because mm. they are my shareholders. They are my new bosses. Okay. So I'm really looking forward to embrace thousands of Ugandans uh -huh. to join this amazing company and to be part of it and to be owning part of the shares and sharing in the profit. Well, th what is there that? you have it. The conversation cannot go beyond this, but be a part of this conversation online. It's still ongoing. Make sure you buy your shares with MTN. The time is now. Tap into the next frontier of income. I'm Andrew Chiamagiro. In the studio, I had Van Wim uh, from MTN, the CEO, and I had Anjiko from Stambik Bank. We'll take a break for now, and we'll be back shortly. Good morning.